chapter 4, and we will pick it up around verse 16, Second Corinthians chapter 4, and we will pick it up from verse 16, and read it from the New Orleans Translation, and it says to us, that is why we never give up. Though our bodies are dead, our spirits are being renewed every day. For our present troubles are small and will last very long. Yet, they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. So we don't look at the trouble we can see now. Rather, we fix our gaze on the thing that cannot be seen. For the things we see now will soon be gone. But the things we cannot see will last forever. You get a word from my mouth and then take to the water. The acceptable invention for the Lord of our strength and our strength. Amen. For those who are standing in unity, I want to share today with you on a theme Do not lose heart. If you read those verses from the New International Version, you will recognize that the opening of chapter 4, 63. Do not lose heart. Hence, I will draw the thing from the New International Version. A story is told of a father who had a donkey. And one day, the donkey fell into a pit. The father struggled and battled at the end. Exactly what to do if the donkey has fallen into the pit. After some time of fainting and toying with the idea, the farmer decided that since the donkey is old and the pit needs filling, what he was going to do is fill the pit with the donkey in it. After the first few shovels full of soil landed on the donkey, the donkey made only the noise that the donkey can make. But then a sight came. And the uh, farmer was troubling the dirt on the donkey. What the donkey was doing was kicking the dirt off. And as the soil landed, the donkey was making his way to the top. By the time the farmer decided that he was going to take a rest, after falling a whole set of dirt on the donkey, to be surprised and amazement that something left from the pit and along. I want to suggest to us today that life has a way of shoveling dirt on us. And our response to the dirt that is being shoveled on us will determine if we make it or not. I want to suggest to us as well that it is more when dirt is shoveled on him or her. You see, because the Christian operates on kingdom principles and values. So based on the operation of the Christian, dirt is constantly shoveled at us. But I want to suggest to us today that we are not to lose our. Do not lose our. The Apostle Paul gave an interesting picture 
of this whole exercise and experience of not losing heart. He said it from earlier verses. We are not done. He said, we are caught on every hand and side. But yet, his focus was, you know what? In spite of all that is happening to me, around me, I am not going to lose heart. I am always amazed when I think and read about the Apostle Paul because there is no best person that will be able to address this human like me. The Apostle Paul was shipwrecked. The Apostle Paul was beaten. The Apostle Paul was rejected. But yet, the Apostle Paul did not lose heart and lost the one of the greatest. He found it. Let me say a few things to us. If we are not going to lose heart, knowing Christ is important. You see, when life struggles turn on us, we can only make it so far in our spirit. But when we know Christ, He says to us, that we can pass or burn on him because he cares for us. When we know Christ, he reminds us that we can come with him when we are weary and are heavy laden and he will give us Christ. So as a result of that, we don't lose uh, Paul reminds us as he goes through this discourse. As the King James and other versions would say, that our root of sickness is just for a time. You see, what we go through is just for a time. Think of it. What we go through and are going through today cannot be compared to what others been through before. Jesus Christ came, rejected the cross, crucifixion. Any other friend I know? No. No. The patriarchs, the most pioneers of the faith, were martyred. Some were burnt, a number of different experiences. Did any of us experience anything of the sort? I want to suggest to us, oh no. So, the key thing that if we are going to really not lose our anything with knowing Christ, again, Paul was the next part of that we may know him, and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering, etc. I want to suggest to us not only to be known Christ, but that we need to understand that if we're not going to lose our that part and struggle of the journey is suffering. And I know you might not have been meant for that, but that's all right. Part of the journey my brothers and sisters is suffering. And I want to suggest that every single thing we do points to Christ and know it is because when suffering comes our way, we understand that the suffering that we are going through and we are experiencing is not designed for us to lose heart, but to produce in us some things that are unimaginable. I want to suggest to us That any person that experiences suffering, maybe many percent of the time, gets hurt. They are different. You see, if you were born with a spoon in your mouth 
have to say. You want to understand why it means to suffer. If you want to speak, you will clearly understand what it means to suffer and every single thing that comes your way you appreciate. You see, Paul I want you. I want you to read. I want you to, to look at the things that are not seen from it. We know Christ, one. We understand that part and parcel of the journey includes suffering, but we also understand that as believers, we look at the things that are not seen. Sometimes we are judged by the things that are seen. You know, somebody can be walking around with a really, really good, but they turn to me, and you will never know unless they tell you. Paul says that we have to look for the things that are not seen. And I can see you are that if you're going to not lose heart, not lose heart, that you need to look at the things that are not seen. You're going to go see the seeing is believing. But I want to give you things that not seen is also believing. So here. We are looking for a who builder and maker is the Lord. We have to see it, but we are looking for it. We are looking for a Christ that will return for us. We have to see it, we have to see it, but we are looking for it. And it's the best of me that in spite of all that is happening on us, we are not to lose heart. The thing that we can see is only that 